Hi, this is Luang from Make Test Repeat, and this is my tiny game console make of um, Raspberry Pi Zero. So let's go test it right away. You need to add the HDMI cable here. And also the power supply. And now we see it will start loaded into the um, Retro Pi. It's the game emulator. So while waiting for it to load, I'm gonna just quickly show you about this console. You will have the top part with the red ball here is the game controller and the green one here is the Raspberry Pi Zero where I installed the Retro Pi. Like you can see, it's a game emulator. So we can um, emulate and play all of the retro game with the Raspberry Pi Zero. As you can see, it got to the emulation station right now. And all of the things that you want for Game Boy and Nintendo, all of that was there. They are loading all of them. Okay, so you see the interface of retro game. In Game Boy, I have some game, I think, and then I also have some in the uh, Nintendo. Let's try it right now. Uh, A to select. And I have 64 game in Contra. Let's try Contra, but I, I love it. It's my favorite. So, yeah. There we have it. Okay. So we can go with one player and let's see. I'm gonna get this rapid power. Oops. So uh, that is the demo for Contra. I died two times. I don't want to death in hot one. So Let's go play. Ah, I did that hard one. So let's go play another one here. There is the one that uh, 64 in one here. So we can launch it. So here I will play Tetris because it's also my favorite games. Uh, oops, star. Dun, dun, dun. Now you can play star. One player. No. Okay, music. I like this one more. Okay, so. So here's that, how um, we can start and play it. Let's uh, get into see how we can actually make this one. Let's have a closer look at this little guy. Um, after I unmount the two screws here, you will take the uh, support out. Now you can look at this. Is the top part is the PCB and work as the game controller. And it work with a header. You should need to plug it directly on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Let me take it out so that you can see easier. Just to show you everything. with the head uh, out. Okay, so this game controller, I have couple version. The very first one I make it with the prototype board, but this one I make with the support of PCB Way. They've been support for many of my projects over years and uh, thanks to them, I always get quality PCB like you can see here. It's very easy to order from them and I actually gonna put this project on their project page. So you don't need to download or upload anything. Just go there and order the file if, if you want to have one. I use um, different component like uh, mostly button like this kind of button and this HDMI button for select and star. You will need another double header and that's it. That all you need. This one is the um, PCB power supply in case you don't want to use the power supply from this Raspberry Pi. That is the case that 
I use the other battery. If you can remember, here's the pictures of it. You can plug it directly to the battery and it has the button and it also have um, the charge port. So this is all for the game controller. Let's just talk a little bit about what you're gonna put into the um, Raspberry Pi Zero. Here, to put the retro pie, you can download the image from the link in the description. Then you will also need to install the GPIO Next package to config all of the button that you connect here. Um, the, the process is very simple. They have the instruction there. You just need to follow them closely. And then at the end, when you config, you will see the list of all of the pin that settle for each of the button, like in the picture you see there, I, I did config with the pin 37, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, after everything is done, you just need to plug them back. and install the support and then the other support the whole tier it match with the whole raspberry pi so you can actually install the screw so yeah this is as simple as that you just need to order the pcb from the uh, project page of me is on the pcb way you can also download it and 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 make it yourself at home and then just plug it in and it will work i hope you enjoy the project this one can be very portable because it's small you can just slip into your pocket and it works with any display that have hdmi so yeah that's it have fun playing it and let me know if you had any question happy playing